I was sitting there in the car. We had been on our first date and we're kind of holding hands. I'd probably already kissed by then. And then I just looked her in the eyes, held the tension. And I said, just so you know, I'm into open relationships. I noticed that she was saying stuff to the effect that I usually don't do that, but it's kind of sexy. And it's kind of sexy that you owned it. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. And as she got closer to me, and the next day she called me up after I said that, and she talked about how sexy that was, how much that turned her on. Hey, so I'm out here in Miami Beach, Florida, and I've got a little time, and I want to talk with you about the Tension Journal. Now, to me, the Tension Journal was like the beginning of a deep understanding that I have been working on creating over the years with tension itself. My relationship to tension and my relationship to tension has only grown over the years. Tension to me is the thing that will radically shift your life if you're having trouble with women, success, or whatever you're working on. You see, I used to be terrified of taking risks. I used to be terrified of responsibility. I used to be terrified of approaching women. I used to be terrified of flirting with women. And if you think about it for a minute, that's all tension. That's all you stepping into tension. See, you've got to step into tension to approach a beautiful woman. You've got to step into tension to kiss a beautiful woman. You've got to step into tension to take risk of any type. Tension is all really perceptual. So as you get more and more comfortable with the tension, it turns more and more into flow and flow states. See, tension activates flow states. If you think about a hose for a minute, the water flows through the hose in a perfect flow. The first thing that has to happen, though, is that water has to be bound into the hose. That's the tension. The tension is holding the water in place. And then with the perfect amount of tension causes it to flow through the hose from one location to another. Well, that's what we're doing here. First thing we have to do is step into tension. If I walk over to a beautiful woman and say hi, and I'm scared of beautiful woman and nervous, but I do it just at the right amount and I play with it and I kind of dance with it, it can be kind of fun. It can be kind of scary fun. It can be nervous. As I walk over there, I feel my nervousness. I own my nervousness and I say, hi, what's your name? And she can even feel that I'm nervous, but she can see that I'm stepping into it. I'm owning it. I'm playing with it. I'm dancing with it. See, that's me playing with and dancing with tension. And she can respect that because if I can surmount, at one, I, she can make me nervous, but two, I can surmount my own fear and show up anyways in a, a fully show up present, that is really sexy. So learning to step into tension is equal to your success. If you do this with money, it's the same thing. Starting a business is gonna have lots of tension. Making a sale is gonna have lots of tension. But since we're a dating channel, we're gonna focus primarily on women. What if you're out on a date and you wanna kiss a girl? I'm gonna give you an example really quick of one time I've been playing with tension for a while. I've been playing with it in different ways and sexual tension and all that type of stuff. And I decided that I was gonna start being a little different with women. Because in the beginning, I was really nervous about kissing girls. So I had to do all this work. I had to like turn around, massage their back a little bit and get comfortable with them. And slowly I turned them back around and I'd kiss them when I built up the courage as I got more and more comfortable with the tension. And that was perfect for that time. But as I got more confident, uh, that changed. And suddenly I wanted to make it more difficult for myself. I needed to raise the bar of tension. So what I did in this case was uh, I decided that on this date, I was gonna kiss the girl at the most awkward time possible for me. Like I was gonna pick one random awkward moment in the date and I was just gonna slowly lean in and kiss her a time that just didn't make sense. Cause I wanted to see if I could ground that, relax into that, play with that, which is what we talk about. So we were out at a wine bar and I remember it was in Long Beach, California, and I was at this wine bar, had this nice little uh, sexy corner we were sitting in, we were having a good time, and she's in the middle of telling me a story. And we were just on the date, the date had just started, it's like our first date. And um, she was telling me a story, she's drinking her wine, everything's flowing, we hadn't really moved in that direction yet, and I thought, this is the perfect time. I'm just gonna lean in and kiss her, as it, before we've even really fully built up to all the rapport and the connection and we, we even really drank our wine yet we just took a couple sips and just see what happens and i'm going to do it in a weird way i'm going to just lean start moving towards her while she's talking this is what i started to do I, I didn't think all this in my head i just started to do it but i started to move towards her while she was talking very slowly 
feeling every bit of the tension, riding it like a surfer rides a wave. I wanted to enjoy the tension. I wanted to be palpable. So I just started slowly getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And she's talking and suddenly she, I can see her getting nervous. Like, what's he doing? And then she stops talking. And then I get right up next to her and I'm like this close to kissing her. And I feel her tense up inside. And I stop and I relax in the tension, but I don't pull back. I stay right there. And I can feel her tension and I'm like, and I remember I said something, I don't remember what it is, but I might've said something like, um, are you okay? And I just sat there and I said it really calm and soft, like I was owning it. And she goes, I remember her specifically, I can still hear the words in my ear. She goes, what are you doing? And I stayed right there in the tension. And I said, I'm kissing you. And she went, okay. And then I went in the rest of the way and we made out for a second. And then I pulled back out slowly and I looked at her and I smiled. And then she looks at me and she goes, did I ruin that? And I was like, no, you made it better. That was awesome. It was an awesome moment. And that's an example of me stepping in attention. I started by being terrified of kissing the girl because I was so terrified of women. I had to work my way up to that. At a later time, another time I decided, this is when I was dating uh, openly and I was actually only into bi-curious and, bi and bisexual women. I was playing with this idea that I wanted to explore wilder ranges of myself. So I would tell women on the first date right away. And I remember sitting there in the car one time with this girl. It might've been one of the first times I did it. I'm not sure, but it was one of the most interesting. And I just said to her, and I was sitting there in the car, we had been on our first date and we're kind of holding hands. I'd probably already kissed by then. And then I just looked her in the eyes, held the tension. And I said, just so you know, um, I'm into open relationships. I think I said something like, I'm, only, I'm really only dating by curious and bisexual women right now. So if that's not you, I totally understand. And I sat there and I just kind of watched her. And I watched her like get nervous start to bounce back. What? Oh my God. I, I can't believe that. That's, I've never had a guy say that to me before. And then on one level, as she started to talk more, I noticed that she was saying stuff to the effect that I usually don't do that, but it's kind of sexy. And it's kind of sexy that you owned it. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. And as she got closer to me and the next day she called me up after I said that, and she talked about how sexy that was, how much that turned her on. And she didn't know that would turn her on. And the next thing I know, she started pointing women out to me as we went out that she found attractive. Like, what do you think of that girl? You see, I had activated a fantasy in her by being so grounded, so comfortable in attention, she felt that I could handle it. So again, tension is a powerful, powerful thing, and it can be little or it can be big. I'm going to give you one more example, and then I'm going to talk about the tension journal. Uh, one of our coaches, we were talking a lot about going out every day and, and just stepping into tension. And it doesn't have to all be sexual tension. The two I just gave you were sexual tension. But one really good example is just he was walking down the street and he wanted to step into little bits of tension on a scale of one to 10, 10 being too much tension, one being just a tiny amount of tension. He was looking for ones and twos just to build some consistency with tension. That's a great practice to do. As a matter of fact, I encourage it. Don't look for all big tension. As a matter of fact, the bulk of the tension should be one to four, one to three. And so he's walking down the street and he sees a guy drop a piece of trash right on the ground there's a trash can right there so he just walks up smiles picks up the trash in front of the guy drops in the trash can smiles and walks off that doesn't sound like much and it shouldn't be much it's one two or three but when you do stuff like that it causes this sense of personal power to grow inside of you i don't care what people think of me i'm going to do what i want i'm going to step into my own power and if you do that consistently little things that make you a little nervous to do that made him nervous to do and you do it, you're really claiming your power from the world. You're saying to the world, I'm not going to let you tell me what feels good to me. I'm going to decide. And, that, and since the masculine grows through challenge, I'll say that again, the masculine grows through challenge. Every time he does that, he's growing his masculine, he's growing his confidence, he's growing his own belief in himself. So if you do that over and over and over, maybe he do, does that 10 times in the next half hour. 15 times in the next half hour, little tiny ones, you come out of there feeling amazing and you start to enter these flow states of confidence where you just, nothing's bothering you anymore because you've just shown your subconscious mind 10 to 15 times in a row, 
I don't care what these people think of me. I'm going to do what I want. Doesn't mean you don't respect people. You don't treat people with respect. You can love people, but you're still doing what you want to do and moving forward. And that's great for you and them. So you see the power in that. And that little description I just gave you of my client is how I got started. I got started with this at a seminar. I got the idea at a seminar, not a dating seminar, uh, a marketing sales seminar. But I was sitting there and I was like, what if I just make a scale of one to 10? 10 being too much tension, one being very little tension, zero being none. And I just start stepping into tension over and over and over again at this seminar. There's all these booths outside where people were selling stuff. And so I just start walking up and I said, what makes me even a little bit nervous? Well, asking that person this question, I walked over there and I immediately, and it's just a little bit, but I asked the question, going over to that girl and asking her a question, because she's extra cute. And I'm going to say, see if I can even say one thing to her, like a compliment. And I go over and do that. And then I go to the next one. Within a half hour, I had more than 10, maybe 15 different things I had done, I'd stepped into. And then I sat down and started journaling all the stuff I realized, all my realizations, the good stuff, the stuff I learned, how this person responded positively to me. This girl smiled at me. This girl giggled. This girl said it made her day, things like that. And I started to build up this, this pattern of stepping in attention and seeing the positive results. And I was particularly stepping into lower amounts of tension that I knew my body could handle would give me a little bit of rush. So I built the habit of successfully stepping in attention. Occasionally, I would step into the eights and nines, but I kind of only did that occasionally. Mostly, I was one, twos, three, sometimes fives and sixes, and and I started to get all these results. So. The next thing I started to do is I got a journal. It was just dedicated to tension, a little one, a little leather bound journal. I keep it in my back pocket and I would go everywhere and write this stuff down. I would pick about it like exercise. I'd pick about a half hour a day and I would step into the tension. I would go out there and this for the next half hour, I'm going to look for these one, twos and threes, maybe an occasional five and six and do stuff. And you'd be surprised. I didn't just limit it to dating too. I did everything so that I'm building this confidence, stepping into tension the whole time. And then suddenly I see a cute girl in the corner and I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling I'm like I'm in flow state right now. I'm open. My body's feeling good. It's tingling. It's full of life. I'm going to go say hi to her. And I'm going to say something ballsy to her that I wouldn't normally say because that's that eight that would have seemed like an eight came down to a four because I was in flow state. I was connected. I went over and I would do that. And that's the power of it. So I always prescribe two different ways to do it. One is the one I just described. Pick about a half hour a day or whenever you got time, 15 minutes, and just go through the tension exercise. Boom, 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 boom. And then journal about it. And then uh, then even review them before you go to bed so you can take them into your subconscious mind because that's so powerful. That's that's the one. Uh, The other way that I describe about, that I talk to people about it is maybe pick three to five things a day, preferably three so you don't overdo it specific areas of your life you've been avoiding tension. Maybe it's asking your boss for a raise. Maybe it's telling that cute barista that she's fucking cute, man. Look, like I just, I can't, I have to tell you, I come in here every day and I, I, and I, and I just think you're so cute. Or maybe it's uh, setting a boundary with a friend, whatever it is, you can do it and just pick three areas a day. Now I had one client send me an email. It wasn't even a client actually, it was a guy who saw me give a talk on this and he said he'd been doing it for the last few months and his whole life had changed. And I've had this repeatedly, but this guy stood out because he sent me a picture of this leather bound journal that he was journaling in. He got a new job, a 9,000 euro a year raise, a new girlfriend, and he was moving in with her. All in the three months or so that he started doing it from that talk. Now that is a major shift in your life. And if he's still doing it today, imagine how big his life will be. I've seen so many people change their lives by doing the Tension Journal. Are you going to start yours today? Put it in the comments below. I want to hear. Start yours today and then commit. And even put this in the comments. I'm, I commit to coming back in a week and in a month and writing updates to my comment as to what's changing in my life. That's what I want to see. And we're going to be monitoring those comments and looking for your experience. And this is going to be awesome and it's going to be a fun video. And what I will ask you to do is is really commit to this and then see if you can get a few friends to join you too. Share the video, uh, send it to a friend that you want to do this with you, invite him into this idea because you can both grow together. Think about the fun you can have, the growth you can have, the experiences you can have, and the realizations you can have learning to step into attention. With that said, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't hit any videos. Make sure to share, like I said, and remember, 
only the confident really live. Take care and have a beautiful day enjoying the tension. Mm-hmm.